Greetings, this is Ken Drews from the National Weather Service in Tucson. The Climate Prediction Center released their winter weather outlook on October 17th. Let's focus on the outlook for southeast Arizona and how our drought status may be affected this winter. Let's begin with a quick look back at the 2019 monsoon. Parts of southeast Arizona were impacted by severe thunderstorms at times and a few locations received significant rainfall as shown by the warm colors on the map on the left. However, seasonal rainfall was near or slightly below average at most locations as shown by the white and brown colors on the map on the right. That fairly lackluster rainfall resulted in the development of moderate to severe drought in parts of southeast Arizona by the end of the monsoon as shown on the map on the right. This compares to the map on the left which shows that southeast Arizona and actually most of the state was drought free in June after a wet late winter and early spring. Looking ahead to the cool season, the official temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center favors warmer than normal temperatures across much of the western United States with the best chances for above normal temperatures during the November through January period. While the temperature outlooks were fairly consistent, the precipitation outlooks present a wider range of outcomes. The outlook leans slightly toward wetter than normal near the New Mexico state line during the November through January period. However, chances are fairly equal for above, below, or near normal precipitation in southeast Arizona during the December through February period, and drier than normal conditions are favored for January through March. Shown on the map on the left are the normal precipitation totals for selected locations in southeast Arizona for December through March, with average statewide precipitation shown on the right. Most valley locations normally receive three to five inches during the four month period. Kitt Peak and other high elevation sites typically receive more winter precipitation. So how could drought conditions change this winter? The current drought monitor shows very little drought in western Pima County and in Santa Cruz and southern Cochise counties. Meanwhile, moderate drought covers a large part of southeast Arizona with severe drought in parts of Pinal County. Given fairly equal chances of above, below, or near normal precipitation for the first part of the winter, drought conditions are forecast to persist, although some areas could certainly fare better than others depending on how individual winter storm systems evolve and track across the region. While the seasonal drought outlook does not go beyond January, the dry leaning January through March precipitation outlook could spell drought intensification if the late winter months indeed turn out to be dry. However, it's prudent to see how the early winter takes shape before drawing too many conclusions. So what went into this year's winter weather outlook? Often the most heavily weighted factor that goes into the winter outlook is whether Pacific Ocean temperatures are warmer or colder than normal. This is referred to as the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO. Simply put, El Nino means that Pacific Ocean temperatures are warmer than normal and La Nina means they are colder than normal. More specifically, the sea surface temperatures in a certain section of the equatorial Pacific called the Nino 3.4 region, as shown in the top map, are at least a half degree Celsius above normal for El Nino or a half degree Celsius below normal for La Nina. Also, those warm or cold ocean temperatures need to be observed for five consecutive overlapping three-month periods. As of autumn 2019, the ocean temperatures as shown in the oval on the map were actually very close to normal. This is called ENSO neutral. These conditions are expected to persist this winter, so that factor does not lend great predictability for this winter. Therefore, the outlook is relying on other factors including forecast trends and climate models. Winter precipitation is beneficial for water supplies and helps stave off drought in southeast Arizona. However, winter storms also present several hazards such as heavy rain that can cause flooding, snow that can result in dangerous driving conditions, and strong winds which can damage trees and power lines, cause power outages and kick up blowing dust. Additionally, freezing temperatures create other impacts. Always keep on top of the latest forecast information so you don't get caught unprepared. Thanks for listening to this presentation. For additional information about climate prediction, El Nino, drought, winter weather, and preparedness, see the websites listed here. Many of these are linked from the National Weather Service Tucson website, weather.gov slash Tucson.